Hello, my name is Kevin Wensley. I'm the Director of Operations at Offshore Sailing School, and I'm here today at one of our beautiful Southwest Florida locations. And what I'd like to talk today about is jibing a spinnaker. Okay, so we've got the spinnaker up, it's flying nicely, and now it's time to actually jibe the, jibe the spinnaker, which means basically we're gonna jibe the boat, we're gonna change tacks. The moment we're on a starboard tack, the wind is coming over the starboard side, the pole's out on the starboard side. What we need to do is rotate the boat all the way underneath the sail and bring it out on the other side of the sail. Step one is to have somebody ready to go forwards to move the pole for us. Looks like Brian's gonna do that. What Brian doesn't wanna do is release the pole when the sail isn't actually full. If we do this well, we should be able to keep the sail flying all the way through the jibe. He stays behind the pole. Nice one, yeah, go ahead. Reattach, then he's gonna trip and roll the other side. There it goes, trip and roll, very nice. The boat turns through the wind. I'm gonna keep the, there we go. Nice one. We've now got the wind on the, the port side. You come on back then, Bry. And secure the guy for me. Got it, nice and tight. And then back to trimming the sail. And so now the luff is on this side. So, there we go. I'm gonna just keep easing until I see a little bit of a curl. There's the curl. And then trim to stop the curl. It's a job that never ever stops. I've got to continuously look up, ease till I see curl, trim to stop the curl. And ideally we want the, the luff of the sail just on the edge of curling. So there we have the sail jibed, we're on the new tack and the trimmer is back engaged in making sure that that sail is drawing perfectly all the time. 